Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this morning, uh, we'll teach you how to create a .NET Suite application that will use the Active Directory uh, authentication. So there's no need to use or to input. I mean, you have to use your credential in the Active Directory server. Okay, so we'll be using Visual Studio 2022. So we'll fire up the Visual Studio 2022 right now. Okay, so this is just a demo. So we'll start creating the create a new project. So there we go. And then all we will use is with that need for web app MVC type. So this is the one C sharp. Okay. Uh script next. And yeah, we just name it as um authentication active directory active directory like that okay so it will be in our uh repo folder in C user at the ending source and then uh yeah we'll create next Okay, so the framework that we're using is the NIT 6. So it's the long term support right now. And uh, we can use configure for CTPS. Right, so we'll leave it unchecked for the enable Docker. So that's the authentication type. We have to use Windows authentication. Right, Windows authentication, which means to see we are going to connect to our Active Directory and it will automatically log in based on your account in the Active Directory. Okay, so create next. So the project now, the template that we use is is with that need for uh, web application in BC. So this is now the the project that's been created for us. So as as you can notice, everything is already given. So as a template, so we can we have the controller folder. By default, it's the home controller, and then we have the models and the view. And the program that says the starting point, or I mean, the, where you can in that need six, this is where you can configure all your services, for example, and uh, dependence. Uh, if you apply dependency injection, you can configure it here. Uh, as with us, uh, the map controller is already by default controller home, so the default controller will be home. And the action is the default tips index, and there is an ID for the option parameter. But you can change if what you are going to have as your default. So if we run this, it should be in the home controller. Alright, it's still loading. So I'll be running in my local host. So that is local host within one two. So it's it's by default, but you can also browse to uh home plus index like that. So it's just the same. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about about Windows authentication using Active Directory. So this is my username, Edwin D. Uh, my Active Directory name or the organization is Linkora. So by default, I already logged in using this uh, Active Directory account with this Edwin D. And the password is by default, it's already given. However, if you want that, you have the username, password, you, have, you need to type, will not automatically log in. We can do that as well. So all we have to do is uh, this is 
this is uh, yeah this is okay, we go to setting I think this is not the one uh, we'll just close it first and so you can see we have not created anything yet and it's automatically logged in here to the active directory so we need to browse i will use uh, in google uh, internet explorer first so i need to go to the setting internet option this one so the internet option you can do security and i think this is the custom label and you look for the authentication here yeah. user authentication so by default uh it's the automatic log on in the internet zone so that is why i did not need to input my username and password but this is connect me to the active directory now if you want to log on to prompt for user and password you should make this one and then click ok and of course you should say yes ok and we will run it again when we will use the chrome now Okay. So as you can see now, it's just asking me to input username and password in my active directory, which is in Bora. Let's try my username is in Wendy and my password is this one. And I'm all guide to sign in. Can I sign in? Still loading? Oh my god. What happened? I think I need to specify the domain name. Go around. And then the password is. Just try again. Alright, see? So I now log into our directory, our application that the authentication is in Windows authentication using Active Directory. So you don't need to create a sign-in registration or sign-in uh, user password using the form because this is an internet or you are, for example, this is just in your organization. So you can use your active directory however the user will browse or will use this application by default it will use his uh, active directory credential okay so you can see here in our shared uh, I this, layout. this is the main page okay so oh, where can we find that Hello, so this one. This is what we use user that identity that name. So that is the Windows Active Directory name. This will display in the left right side corner when you successfully log on to your application. Right, so guys, that's that's how you create a simple ASP.NET Core web application using .NET 6 by directly or automatically using your active directory account so it's so easy right so, and then now you can validate whatever authentication whatever rules you want to go for example if you have to create your uh controller here and if you want to validate what user can can access a particular controller particular action then that's that's enough you just need to to get the user identity from the active directory all right guys so that's for now a very short tutorial 
for using Windows Authentication and Active Directory. So, hope you are learning. Happy learning, guys. Uh, if you like, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be notified in the next upcoming uh, stories or video that we are going to upload here in our YouTube channel. So, happy learning, guys. Bye-bye.